Hey everybody, it's your girl Diamond back at again with another video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. We're going to be going over a few things today here on CurseForge. So, so if you don't know what CurseForge is, I did kind of make a video explaining what it was. It's basically an app and a website, although in this case we are in the app, which I would highly recommend. I'll explain why in just a minute. Which you can download since for CC or mods. And these are completely safe, meaning you can see which mods are broken, which aren't, and where you can even find them, which is I think is fantastic. It's This is very helpful, believe or not very helpful so today i just wanted to go over three things the curse forge app itself how to download on curse forge and then the last thing is how to download cc and mods content in general not on curse forge i'm talking about any other website now if you're going to download cc i would recommend curse forge okay so so this is this curse forge website here and if we go over here to the top we have curse forge app click on that and you would download curse forge for windows if you have windows or if you have mac mac and linux and you you know all that um i did windows you would just download and then obviously the option will show up click on the file open it and install if for some reason it's not installing it's probably because you have some type of safety on or if not you might have downloaded it wrong the first time i know the first time i did i downloaded it wrong and kind of messed up for me it's second had to go back in kind of delete the original one and then go back in reset it and then download it again it was a disaster but that's just because i did it wrong so so for example if i click download here it'll show up here and that's when you open file and from there once you open the file it'll obviously it won't let me because i already have it but if you open the file it'll go on you put yes yeah, something will you allow something something blah 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 and you got it you know what i'm saying getting on to actually how to download cc on curseforge you can download on the website or on the app itself i just feel more comfortable on the app because it's i feel like it looks way better too and just more functional just up to your preference it's pretty self-explanatory it's, it's very simple so i'm gonna go to popular view all and then we got a, quite a few things here and there's just the things for example teen job collection it'll give you options to install you can click in here find out more information about it boom bam beam bam creator all that good stuff and then you can install from here or you can also install from where i just showed you so now that's installed recently up updated right and it's installed so it won't give you the option to install again obviously so yeah it's pretty self-explanatory it's very 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 a very simple process this is a growing platform so you might not see everything not every cc creator is on here but i've seen some of the big creators i know on here which i think is pretty cool they have this pure collection set it looks pretty cool I'll just install it bam and it, it moves it into your files for you now normally you would have to move those files you downloaded into the files in the sims 4 and that can get a little bit time wasting and whatnot and it's just too much work if you go over here to my mods it'll kind of give you over what you guys you can see i have quite a few things and there's quite a few things here that i'm gonna have to delete because they are broken and that just makes this process much easier because if for some reason i want to download or download i'm sorry if i want to delete I'm trying to think what i want to delete for example this makeup i don't like it or something i just click on here it'll take me to it and then i have this little option right here to delete mod now i don't have to go into my folder and find what mod is was messing with it i just find it from here delete it's very simple and i honestly love this i would highly recommend this to anybody who uses cc and mods okay this is a must have now moving on to the last thing i want to kind of go over how to download cc in general um i'm just gonna go on page because this is the easiest page to kind of just download it on um you would kind of download everything the same really only thing difference is that you would move the files into the sense 4 instead of them doing it automatically for you so if for example i wanted to download this cotton here i would just want to do this one right here it'll download it for me i would go into files go into electronic arts the sense 4 moving on to mods and from there, I would move that to where I want it to be. For example, this is all kind of organized. So I'm going to put this to here. And bam, that's simple. It can just be very time consuming because some things don't just come like that and you could just download it and move it on. It can be very complicated. Like you have to extract the file and that takes time because you have to get the actual file that was extracted, then move into there. And it doesn't, it's not very convenient versus having it automatically extracted from the file, moved to the sense 4 and bam, you're done, you're done. And if it's broken, you can find it from there too. There's a, there's still a bunch of creations that aren't on CurseForge yet. So I'm obviously still going to download from any other website or page i want that was kind of the tutorial rundown I just wanted to do on curseforge and on websites itself to download cc creations and content uh there's lots of great things on this app and of course there's lots of great um cc creators on websites that haven't joined curseforge or don't plan to whatever the reason being i still think that curseforge is a great place to find even if it's not downloaded on curseforge you'll find a whole bunch of things you downloaded i really do hope this helped out it was a pretty brief overview and tutorial if you have any questions feel free to leave it down in the comments below i am more than happy to answer and as always i would really appreciate it if you hit that like button if this helped you out in any type of way and of course feel free to join the community by subscribing i would really appreciate that as well again get this app y'all need this app it's a game changer okay game changer i do hope to see everybody in the next one have a good day and as always take care bye bye